So it is about to storm outside, it's hard to tell. But I am back at Hungry Pants. Um, I snuck in just before brunch ended. I'm gonna try one of the other brunch items. And I was convinced to get pie, so now I'm really excited. And this is like, have you tried our pie yet? It's like, oh, why do you tell me these things about delicious desserts? I'm a sucker for delicious desserts. So soon I'm gonna have some delicious food, yay. So last time I got the oat milk lavender soda, this time I'm getting the black currant soda. So, that, and I had black currant like, jam last time, so let's see how this tastes. Sweetness and tart, it's really nice. And definitely little bits of black currant in there too, which is really unique. So, I would say, nice little soda. And if you can hear, legitimately, it sounds like it's about to downpour outside. I'm so happy that I made it in and I'm gonna get food. And then I'm gonna have to drive home in like crazy rain, but that's okay. I can live that way. Oh wait, here it comes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> So as you see, it is carrot locks, um, tomatoes, they have capers, onions, have a few little, uh, not gherkins, but um, the fancier, smaller, goodness gracious, yeah, it sounds like it's going to storm really bad. Um, the fancier, smaller pickles, I, I can't remember how to describe those, but, and the to the bagel is sourdough and it's a vegan cream cheese on there I am super excited and cannot wait to dig in let's first dig into the carrot into the bagel and carrot locks Ooh. okay as you see Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Mm. It's got a good smoky flavor. I'm going to put the tomato on top to give it the full effect. Oh wow. They have an amazing kind of faux salmon smoky flavor with their carrots. Let me get that full bite of this and try it out. Do -do -do. Mm. Oh man, this is definitely a thumbs up, or my thumb is, thumbs up. Mm. Oh, I would so recommend, this is 10 out of 10 recommend. I don't say 10 out of 10, like, I really need to go and try vegan lots at a lot of different places. But this is just $10 before tax and tip, which at the moment, other than one place in Jacksonville, it's the more affordable one that I've come across as a vegan lox. Uh, and then again, the one in Jacksonville might have been close in price. Um, <laughs> Of other places in the area, I think I only know of one other place that has vegan locks. I think it's about $12. So, it's that thing that not as many people do it in Orlando. It's good for something to come across. Now, I'm going to stop filming. I'm going to continue eating this delicious, delicious food. <laughs> Hi. That's the law, but it does not affect the integrity of the pie. That's okay. It still looks like delicious pie. <laughs> so, um, I was going to talk about the um, kibbutz, which is the vegan carrot locks. Now, obviously, if you're someone who's used to salmon, you're not going to be duped by what it looks like immediately. But the taste is very good. It has that saltiness, a little bit of the softness. Um, 
excuse me chewing the gherkin right now while I talk but I like it I think this is I would recommend this this is I would say like let's say it's an 8 8.5 this is a really good option now in reality I don't have a lot to compare it to because there's not a lot of places like I said who do a vegan lox so I'm saying 8.59 it's great it is good I like it I ate the whole thing hm? if it was bad I would be upset hm? but that I am not so haha so here we go with the pie this is a vegan chocolate salt pie now let's say by one thing the crust it's definitely kind of a little bit you can tell a little bit dry on one end but a little bit more soft on on the other if you look at the layering kind of but on a full bite hands down I'm say it's great I would honestly think it was a normal chocolate pie if I wasn't told that it was vegan. <laughs> now the nice thing is they put like a uh, so delicious cocoa whip on it. So that's what the dollop is on top. Yeah. And whew, get in there. Get in my fork. Mm. The crust is got a nice crunch to it. Beam. Um, this is like the chocolate is nice and silky so I would say honestly this is a great pie um, the pie is not a, technically a regular on the menu because I guess they do change stuff out but it is very, very, very delicious. Mm. You know, I kind of want to do something stupid. And also get cake to go with this. It's not stupid, it's just not highly advised, obviously. But this is currently the only meal I've had today. So we'll see. So I decided to get a slice of the cookies and cream cake. Now, the cookies and cream is going to be $5, the cake. And the um, the pie that I got was 4 So my original cost was $4 for the pie, $3.25 for the artisanal soda, and it was $10 for the... Um, Ten dollars for the kibitz plate, which was the vegan lots. Um, so seventeen dollars before tax. I think it was a total of. I have the. I don't know where I just put the receipt, but it was like eighteen something after tax, and then I did tip, and then this was five. I added a dollar tip, and I'm going to dig into this vegan cookies and cream cake. Ooh. I need to get it closer before I accidentally drop something, and then I'll be sad. Mmm. Hmm. It's moist, but a different kind of moist. So, hmm, it's different. You definitely get a. You definitely get the cookies and the cream vibe from it, but it definitely has a different taste from like a normal cake if you weren't doing vegan. But I like it. Hmm.
I'm not exactly sure how it's made, because it is a little bit dense, but still, I wouldn't say that it's bad. I'd say it's a liver sugary balance. As you eat it along, I may still bit so that I'm eating some of the, more of the frosting with the cake because you know that problem with cake. When it's on its side, it's hard to eat it like evenly. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and flip. Yeah, it's hard to eat more evenly this way. But you see the amount of like Oreo type cookies on it. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I think this is the perfect portion because it is definitely sweet. And if you were to get like a larger portion, I think it would be a little too, too sweet to handle. But this, like Goldilocks, it's just right. <laughs> well, not like Goldilocks, but you know, the final bit being just right. Yeah, so I asked, and I was told that what they use is they use oat milk in here so that replaces any dairy element which is cool <laughs> gives it a nice creamy creaminess and mm. Mm. I'm gonna finish it up and then I'm gonna have to drive myself home I think I'm gonna be full. Definitely gonna be full. <laughs> so another successfully full meal at Hungry Pants. And as you see, they are open. So again, that's 407-412-6300. Or visit eathungrypants.com. Uh, I think I advised that is closer to Pine Lock and Orange. Like, the, here's a good marker. It's across the street from a Freddy's. You can see the nice, beautiful sign outside when you drive closer towards it. And it has their nice parking lot back here. I seriously think everybody should be trying this place out. It is, the staff is so friendly. They do have limited seating right now because, you know, of life happening right now. But they also have a to-go window along the side. So if you want to just order to-go, you can just order ahead of time, pick up at the window. I am now going to head home and try not to lay down in my car and take a nap. Alright. Bye everybody.